are on so hi guys and welcome to a sales update today we I know I'm a little bit low one second let me just change this up a bit see if I can get in the camera a little bit better um, so today we're going to focus on bread and butter lower value items and you may be asking why it's going to be a bit of a boring sales update or whatever because it's all you know bread and butter low value items but I'll tell you why I want to do it it's because bread and butter and low value sales and I'm going to say bread and butter a lot in this sales update so get used to it um, but these lower value sales I know a lot of people you know when they come on and they do, they do the sales updates they like to focus on higher value items and that's fine and I focus on higher value items and it's good to do higher value items but what a lot of people have taken the premise off is the fact that um, so many resellers build their business on these bread and butter sales um, and I myself included and on volume when you get these sales on volume you know you, you're doing a good amount of them each week each month um, you, they become very powerful they become very very powerful especially if you're getting these items at decent prices as well and uh, that's what I wanted to focus on I wanted to focus on the fact that you know okay some of these items you know bread and butter items bread and butter sales they, they are a bit boring but they're powerful they're powerful when you get them when you get enough of them so yeah without further ado i have thrown a few higher value items in in there as well just to keep things a bit interesting and throw up a surprising sale every now and then but um f including the first sale well the first sale is like mid-range um but yeah, anyway, I'll get straight on with it. I won't uh, ramble anymore. So yeah, um, I think we've got quite a lot to get through, but I'm just going to chillax and just go through them nice and slow with you. So this is a Verve, uh, I think it's Click, Verve Click, uh, Champagne Traveller. I imagine the French would say Traveller or something like that, because I think it's a French thing. Um, but yeah, basically this was a, a carrying case for a champagne bottle, and it also had with it well the champagne bottle wasn't with it but it you know it obviously uh, you would get a champagne bottle for it and put it in there uh, but what was with it was two champagne flutes which were actually branded and they were quite nice um, it does have its tag on as you can see but I didn't uh, specify the condition as new or like new because it had a little bit of wear I knew I, I just felt that it had been used so I had to specify condition as used uh, just you know to be a genuine reseller to be a genuine seller you know so I uh, specified the condition as used and I was still happy with the price I got about 30 quid plus postage you were in about 12 hours uh, could have got maybe that signified I could have got more but I would you know I was happy with what I got I was happy with the turnaround time and um, I'd say there was a little bit of wear on it was some black marks and stuff um, I don't know whether that's common on these but you know there was just bits of wear and I knew it had been used so I decided to as I say put that as used but a lovely sale paid £5.50 the complete turnaround time on, on it was three days I bought it on the Tuesday listed it on the Thursday and it had sold by the Friday so uh, yeah really nice turnaround time on that and a good profit uh, next was this vintage uh, 1980s Coca-Cola um, Russell, uh, Russell Spinner Yo-Yo. I've sold this twice. I've actually sold this twice, and first time I sold it, I don't think we paid for quite a while actually. Um, and then I think I think I ended up relisting it or something. Something happened. I can't quite remember. I think it was that they didn't pay though. Um, and then I relisted it, and it sold after a while, um, probably about a month or something. Um, and it's off 20 pound uh, plus postage. I got this in an auction lot that I probably more than paid for. I couldn't tell you exactly, um, but I'm sure there's have had other sales from it. The auction lot I think cost me 20, 20 quid plus uh, twenty quid plus commission. Uh, so yeah, that was a, that was where that one came from. Um, really nice item. Not a bad turnaround time on it, but as I say, you know, that sale, um, you know, that sale when someone didn't pay, it was a bit annoying, but you know, that's how it goes in this game. Uh, something that is pure profit after postage and fees are these Star Lord 
uh, vintage 1980 and 1981 annuals, uh, 20 quid plus postage, so again, it's I generally call my bread and butter range anywhere between about 10 and let's say about 20, 25 pounds, something like that. Um, that's sort of my bread and butter range. There are things a list below a tenner. I do do some 99p auctions from time to time, um, but generally 90, 95% of my stuff is over a tenner. So, you know, it's between that 10 to 25 pounds, my uh, bread and butter range. But there is a few things that are below a tenner on this update as well. These were really nice, they were from an auction job lot that cost me £10 plus commission and I'm well into profit on them, really really nice, I think I've probably almost done 100 quid on them now, probably set 70 quid definitely, so um, I'm really happy with that lot, you know, that all those comics were really really good buy, I wasn't sure at the time, you know, I had done a bit of research but I didn't really know completely, um, I was thinking I might get 30, 40 quid out of them, but yeah, I was happy with that. Anyway, nice little uh, auction lot I picked up there. Uh, I just realised something on this, actually. I've misspelled cassette. As you can see there in the title, I've put one S instead of two. Um, and this was quite, this was a sale from quite a while ago, but you can see my green background. So it's that, that um, photo there is at least 10 months old now, um, because the last time I had that background was in December of 2016. And we're now uh, September of 2017. Uh, yeah, these are worth picking up. I've been selling loads of these. I don't even think I've got any left now. Um, these smaller ones are not as good as your, your larger ones, your double-decker ones, you know, your big, nice ones. Um, and you know what I did on, at the car boot a while back? I uh, said to myself, oh, I like the look of that big uh, storage container. It was a cassette storage container again. And I didn't pick it up straight away because it was a massive one. I mean, it was a it probably I probably would have charged about thirty quid for that one. It was massive, and um, I didn't pick it up because I thought, oh, I'm going to have to go back to the car. But actually, I want to go around the car boot again just in case I miss something. You know, I was in that mentality because it was early on at the car boot. Um, so I thought, well, I'll come back for that. No one's really going to be interested in it. And I come back for it about thirty minutes later, and what do you know? It's gone. So the time to buy something, is obvi it's obviously when you see it, buy it when you see it, because um, I've been selling loads of these and, you know, the sell through has been great for me for some reason, I don't know whether it's just me, but I've been selling quite a few of these, and, uh, you know, we sat around for a while actually, and then we just randomly started selling recently, don't know whether there's been another uptrend in the whole cassette revolution or something, uh, but, you know, I don't know, but, um, yeah, I missed out on getting a really nice one the other week at the car boot. So that's that one gone for 9.95 plus uh, 3.99 shipping. Probably paid a quid or two. I can't imagine myself paying more than two pounds for that. So yeah, that's that one. Some more of these comics. Um, this time five 2000 AD uh, hardback annuals. 14.99 plus shipping. So happy with that sale again. Just more profit on that job lot really. Um, Next, uh, this was really nice. I paid three ninety nine in a charity shop for this. It was a, um, a bit of an unusual item. Um, it was a weaving fork or tapestry tapestry comb. At least once I had done a bit of research and I talked to a few people and that sort of stuff, that's what I decided I was going to list it as. I didn't one hundred percent get that it was that, but that's what I put in the title. Some hopefully the person who bought it was um, someone who obviously knew what it was, well I've, I've had no comeback from it or anything, they've not said this isn't what, what I expected or anything, so I'm happy with that, so obviously the person who bought it knew what it was, even if it wasn't a, a weaving phone, oh, I'll leave that, I'll leave that, I've got a call, I'm a busy guy, I'm a bit unwanted man, um, but yeah, so uh, that was a nice L2499 plus, but again it's a little bit higher than my bread and butter range, but I wanted to include that, it's quite a nice one. Um, and as you see that, I put a pound next to it for size, you know. I thought I wanted to be a, a kind of a, a rich guy, you know. I, I want to um, appeal to the more affluent market, so instead of putting a penny to reference size, I'll put a pound there. Um, but yeah, so that was quite a nice sale. A really heavy brass item as well, it, re it really was heavy. And it was well done, you know, it, it, I felt it was well made, so that was really nice. It was a kind of a make-up-a-price thing though. 
Um, next was this um, Acon's Techniplots uh, two-channel transmitter. I got this only a couple of weeks back. It was a good turnaround, probably a week or so turnaround, if if uh, less than a week actually. Fifteen quid free postage, very much bread and butter, uh, and three pound paid. So you know there's a few quid in that net profit, but yeah, I was happy. Um, Vintage, again, very bread and butter this one, but I did list uh, quite a few of the die casts that were below £10 because, you know, I could blast through them. I was blasting through those listings quite easily, so, um, you know, I listed a few of them, bread and butter sort of range, um, and I was happy to do that. You know, it was worth my time just to blast through them uh, one night, you know, and get through quite a few in, in one sitting. So, four ninety nine plus two ninety nine shipping. That'll just go towards paying for the for the diecast job lots, really. And I've still not got round to uh, listing any more of it. I'm still needing to do that actually. So here we go, a little surprising higher value one thrown in here. Uh, this is a Dubai of Ireland women's size medium uh, gilet horse riding gear, that sort of stuff. Um, I didn't actually get uh, one hundred pound for it, ninety nine ninety nine. Plus postage, I accepted an offer of 68 quid. I bought it for 25 quid quite a few months ago now, and it had sat there and sat there and sat there. Got a lot of interest, but ne no one ever pulled the trigger. And I just decided to accept 68 quid plus the four pound shipping, so 72 quid in total. I was happy with that to get shot of it from a 25 pound investment. Still some good profit, but I was, as I say, I was hoping for the hundred. Um, but yeah, you know, still. Quite happy with it. Uh, oh, where, where are we now? Right, there we go. Um, Corgi, free racing cars. This was from one of my diecast job lots. I can't remember which one, but uh, not the recent ones, but ones from a while back. So, um, don't know where I am with profit on these. I imagine they don't owe me anything, to be honest. Um, but I got 10 quid for them free postage. And I was happy with that little sale. I don't think we were anything amazing, amazing, to be honest. So that's why I didn't seem to price, price higher on those. But still, nice bread and butter items. Um, these these were in a charity shop. I actually picked up quite a lot of these in a charity shop. Picked up uh, 72 brand new uh, Hot, Wheel pa Hot Wheels packs in a charity shop for um, 36 quid. So 50 pence each, and um, these ones, at the time of picking them up, which was a month or so ago, uh, weren't released in the UK. So I thought, oh, I've got, you know, I've got good ground in here, and um, they'd not gone as fast as I would have hoped. Um, maybe it's my bundling. Maybe if I'd done them individually, they would go quicker. But I just didn't want to do them individually, and have to pack them up individually because I don't even uh, well actually yeah they would probably fit in a jiffy but I don't know I, I wouldn't really like to put them in a jiffy because the the cardboard cardboard is quite flimsy at the top and if you put something like that in a jiffy bag and it's going to a collector or something like that and then the cardboard gets bent or crushed they're not going to be happy so I did them in four so that then I could put them in little boxes uh, and that's how I was shipping them out but yeah, I'm happy with that 15 quid. Obviously, I'm in them for 50p each because I paid 36 quid for 72 of them. So I'm in it for two quid. So I was happy with that. But they really need to start shifting a little bit more because I'm not really seeing many of them go. Um, and obviously, I need to at least get my principal capital back, you know, um, on the deal so that then I feel comfortable with where I am. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, pair of Milka chocolate coffee tea Easter bunny mugs or whatever. Had these for quite a while, as you can see, it's on my old photography. Well, yeah, is it on my old photography area? I think it is. Um, and these went for ten pound plus postage. My standard bread and butter range, ten pound plus postage. I always go on about that. It's my favourite price, ten pound plus postage. I love it. Um, because if you pay a pound for it, you know, you've got a nice five, six, seven quid net profit on that. So, uh, well, depending on how much it costs to post it. But, yeah, um, it's, you know, pretty standard sale, couple of mugs. I wouldn't recommend you picking these up for more than, say, 10, 20p each. Because I think I paid 25p each or something for these. But the reason I say that is because they took quite a while to sell. And you don't want to be paying like a quid each, uh, you know, only to get 12 quid, 13 quid back. 
uh, after about six months to a year. So, you know, yeah, they were a bit slow then. Um, something again that was very slow, but I kind of knew this is obviously the board games are quite slow these days. Uh, I sold two of the, this is the weird thing, I sold two of these within about two days, but they had sat on the shelf for ages, months and months and months, and then I sold two of them in about two days, so it was crazy, so I sold two of those at nine quid plus postage each, so nothing spectacular, bread, bread and butter. As you can see, it was a very old listing because of my old background, so yeah. That was that one. Uh, lovely sale this was. I had it up for, oh yeah, it says that. Had it up for £25. I accepted an offer of £17.50 plus the postage, the four quid postage. Um, yeah, really happy with that. It was a Lock & Co. Hatters of London flat cap. Uh, really, really nice one. Uh, I didn't really know what to go on price with this one, but I went at 25 quid and I was happy just to get it out the door at 17 50 May have undersold it, you know, may have been able to get more, but I was happy just to get it out the door. It cost me £2.50, and I'm not going to argue if, you know, I, I, I could have argued, you know, whether £7.50 is worth holding another week or two weeks or three weeks or however long it would have taken to sell, you know, holding off on the offer. But I just thought, you know, get it out the door. I've got so much stock coming in. Just get, churn and burn, get some of this stuff out, you know. So, really nice item, obviously, I wouldn't say it's my specialist area or anything, but obviously I like hats, um, so it's always nice when I can sell them as well, um, even though I don't really know that much about them, but I do, uh, I, I love to learn about them, and I love uh, selling them, dealing with them, wearing them, that sort of stuff, so, yeah, although actually saying that, I've not really worn many hats recently, so I need to get back to wearing hats. Uh, lovely piece this was, this was in my pottery job lot from the auction, I believe this was in the £20 plus commission job lot. Now, an important thing to note is a lot of this studio pottery is very, very slow. Um, in fact, I will tell you how slow. From that job lot of pottery, I listed all that on the same night. Maybe over two nights, but most of it on the same night. And uh, there was about, what, 10 to 12 pieces in that job lot. And this is the first piece to go after about... A month and a half to two months so it is slow it is slow honestly I don't think I'm gonna sell all of those 12 pieces for another year I think this time next year there might still be one of those one or two of those pieces listed um, and that's fine I'm well aware of, of how slow they are and it's it doesn't bother me that they're slow uh, there's probably ways you can help speed speed up the sales like you know getting into price and stuff like that but really you don't want to be like blatantly undercutting people you want to hold out for half decent prices so it's just the certain niches that are slow doesn't matter who's selling the item doesn't matter what experience you have doesn't matter anything like that it's just the the, the niches are slow obviously as i say there's things you can do to improve the sale like good photographs uh, a good description keywords that sort of stuff but You'll find, and like I've found, that no matter what keywords you use and all that in some of these niches, they just still are slow. You know, they just still are slow because it's about that right person getting that item, looking upon that item. And sometimes it will surprisingly be quite quick, the sale, because that right person comes along straight away. But anyway, I won't um, moan or ramble anymore about that. So 25 quid plus postage that just about well not i wouldn't say just about but roundabouts covers my investment on the entire job lot or as i say thereabouts not quite but nearly um so once the next piece sells that'll be almost pure profit so i'm happy with that not too bad um and yeah i'm just waiting for the other piece to sell and i will show you when they sell a uh, bit of a fail this one I uh, picked this up from the car boot not long ago at all, thinking, oh yeah, this is going to be really good, it's brand new, it's sealed. Uh, these calculators, or similar ones, I'm usually selling for about $7.99, $8.99 used. But unfortunately, this model d doesn't seem to command that much, either used or new, to be honest. Um, so, I ended up listing it for 9 quid. I got it for £1.50. Yes, there's a small profit in there, but 
not an amazing profit a little bit there'll be a couple of quid in there or something but um yeah um uh, not amazing but it did go pretty quick so i got my money out of it quick and i moved on and it was a little you know it was a jiffy bag shove it in a jiffy bag so it didn't take me much time to pack or indeed list actually so yeah that was that one uh something i'm pure in pure profit on i got a big job lot not too long ago i didn't show it on video actually um to be honest a few things in this sale that i haven't actually shown on video but it just shows you how much stock i do get through the door because there's all the stuff i show on video and then there's stuff that i just don't get chance to show on video um because i'd just be you know i'm working or I, it's just too overwhelming to show on video to be honest so uh, i do get quite a lot through the door but i got a big job a lot of um commodore amiga games uh really nice it was oh god there must have been 10 15 maybe 20 20 yeah about 10 or 15 uh, amiga games anyway um but yeah 7.99 i sold this as untested because i didn't have any way of testing this i couldn't put the floppy disks in anywhere or anything uh 7.99 i uh yeah i'd say in pure profit on that job lot so it, you know it was just extra on top extra few quid really not not a lot at all though as you can see from 7.99 free postage i'm not going to get a lot back from that sale net um right next this this vintage book uh job lot that i got for 4.99 it's still paying me out i um got a vintage uh, book job lot for uh from a charity shop for 4.99 and um i've made a lot of money on that job lot this is pure profit after fees and postage uh, obviously it'll go as a lot well it did go as a large letter so uh, nice and easy with that one really nothing more that needs to be said about that quite a bread and butter item but I didn't mind listing it because I had so little money in the job lot to begin with so I thought well whatever this sell you know even if it sells for a low amount it's basically pure profit after postage and fees so that's how I worked it um right next one what have we got here oh another die cast i just thought i'd throw a couple of these into the sales updates um D dinky toys 109 wb blue die cast land rover uh, this was obviously in play one condition not the best of condition but i got 15 pounds free postage for that again it'll just go towards the um the die cast job lots that i got recently you know go towards paying for them so yeah that was that nothing amazing amazing but still it was a nice bread and butter sale and oh excuse me and it was um fairly easy to list as well I, you know i can bash through the die cast quite easy so yeah that was that um another amiga game i just realized what that was from the tab there uh yeah elite firebird commodore amiga game um again i sold it as untested uh 15 pound plus postage so i was happy with that one and again i'm in profit on that job lot so all's good there uh, i don't think there's anything that really needs to be said uh, much else for that one um yeah okay this one these were a mixture of a few amazon returns i got all my amazon returns back the other week and i'm so glad they're done now because there was oh my god there was so many boxes of stuff um but yeah these were a mixture of amazon returns and there was a couple of uh, ps2 games that i just had lying around and just bundled them up as well uh went really quick this one the discs i don't think we were in great condition on this i have put item condition acceptable so i don't think we were great condition on this uh but yeah i got 10 quid for them um and obviously some little kid somewhere is going to be fairly happy with them so yeah nothing really else that needs to be said on them very bread and butter item really um right let me see how many we've got to do now oh i've only got three more um right silver plate epns francis howard marked hot water jug i can't remember where i got this from i think it was in was it i think it was from warrington auction house and i think it was in an epns job lot that i got for like 12 quid plus commission um i don't know whether anything else has sold out of it yet i'm really not sure i honestly haven't a clue this this silver plate and the brassware isn't too bad brassware is steady uh of what i've found and copperware is fairly steady as well but silver plate seems to be a bit slow i'm sure but oh what's that another sale or something um silver plate seems to be a bit slower than the brassware but yeah uh 14.99 plus postage 
if I haven't sold anything else from it, then it's uh, from the job lot, then that's obviously just gonna go towards covering the cost of the job lot. If I have, then it'll be majority of it will be profit. So yeah, anyway, that was quite nice. Um, and I like doing a bit of research on that actually, because I got to know the makers a little bit, you know, and uh, I went on a few sites and researched the makers and stuff. So that was quite nice. Um, Orcs and Elves, again, another Amazon return. So I just wanted this out, uh, put it on for 8 99 Again, very low uh, bread and butter range for me. Um, it is in good condition. Um, and yeah, that went fairly quickly, as I say, for eight ninety nine. Nothing special there. I don't think I need to go into much detail. And then we'll finish on an okay sale here, uh, which was this IKEA clip, uh, clip, clipan, I think clipan. I don't know. Van Naster. I, don't, I can't even say those words. Um, but it was an IKEA denim sofa cover. Let's just say that. It was new in the packaging, but packaging had some sticker residue and stuff like that, and marks. And I didn't get 39.99 for this. I actually got 30. I accepted an offer of 35, but that's fair enough. That's exactly why I use the best offer function for people who just make a sensible offer and want a little bit of money off. That's why I use it. They're the people I use the best offer fun function for. I don't care for the people who give me one pound offers and stuff. I don't moan about it. I don't get upset about it. I just decline them and move on. I think a lot of people tend to get very emotional um, about eBay and very emotional about, um, you know, bad, like low offers and stuff like this. Just move on. Don't let it, you know, don't let it distract you. Don't let it give you any emotion, any sense of emotion. Just decline it and move on. Um, but yeah, I was really happy with, with taking that offer of 35 quid plus the postage. So just over 40, 40 quid in total. And I paid £10 um, about two weeks ago. And then I listed it about a week ago. And then it sold within a week. So I was happy with that. But I was very, very unsure on this one. I did take a punt on it for 10 quid. I didn't honestly didn't know, didn't have a clue. I'm not going to be one of them people who sit here and say, oh yeah, I knew exactly what I was doing. I knew what this was straight away. I knew what it was worth and all that sort of stuff. I'm not going to be like that. I honestly didn't know what it was. I mean, I did know what it was, but I didn't know, uh, you know, what it would be worth or anything. I just took a complete gamble at 10 quid, but I like doing that because I'm a bit of a risky guy, I like a bit of a gamble here and there, and that's why I love reselling, so, yeah, anyway, so we'll leave it there, guys, thank you for watching, if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up, and uh, I will be back very soon, probably, uh, with one of my Thursday Talks episodes, or something like that, um, it's been going really well, um, eBay and Amazon, I've been really trying to work on them, Amazon less so, but I am going to be building up a lot more for fourth quarter, um, and you know putting a lot more work into Amazon for fourth quarter, but eBay very much so it's been very very strong and touch wood Hopefully it continues now into fourth quarter and will be fairly smooth sailing with obviously putting in a lot of work at the same time But hopefully on the sales front will be will be uh, fairly uh, smooth sailing So yeah, I will leave it there guys as I say please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. See you very soon, guys.